Hey hello everybody, welcome back to one more Elden Rings video. So in this video I want to show you guys how you can obtain one cool looking katana, another one for the collection. This one is a dragon scale blade, a weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality into an included blade. The unique skill on this is called the ice lightning sword. So call down a bolt of ice lightning into the blade and bring it down upon a foe. The ice lightning effect though will persist for a while. So it has this really cool lightning and ice effect once you use the ash of war, you know the speciality of this katana. And it is, it is cool but also it is powerful too though. But only for single target even though it almost looks like it could be an AOE but it's only for single target so there is that so the requirements for this weapon is 12 on strength and 20 on dexterity the fp cost for that unique skill will be 19 and the attribute scaling though is gonna be d on strength and b on dexterity so this will uh, go really well with dexterity and strength now the way to obtain this katana actually you need to progress into the rainy's uh, quest line i do have a video on the channel showing you guys how you can complete the whole quest line for rennies but once you are going through this quest line you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna get right over here on this lake of the root shore side uh, side of grace this is the area where you want to be. Once you get in there, you want to stop in there uh, for us to go get this blade. So once you are here on the Lake of Rot, uh, we want to head over in the direction of the lake. Now before you go in, I would recommend crafting some uh, preserving boluses. Uh, this will allow you to use it to uh, eliminate the rot buildup that's going to be uh, once you are going through it right and put it on a quick spot now after that there is three pillars that we need to find in this lathe of rot to press a button the first one is going to be right over here on southwest once you press that you want to jump over the platform uh, grab this item don't forget and keep on heading over southwest um, and then we're going to find the second pillar right over there And from here, after that, we want to go east to this next platform right here. If you want to wait for the rot to go away, like I did, and keep on going to this next platform. Keep on going to the next platform again. And then right there, we can see the boss. That's the boss, actually. But we want to go and head over to the third pillar, which is going to be all the way to the east, uh, where we're going to uh, open or bring up a platform around the boss so keep on heading over there don't forget to use your consumables that's what's gonna help you once you get here press the button and we see that it's gonna be a, a three four platforms actually open up around the boss so from here now you can go over and stand on them wait for the scattered rods to go away and then just fight and kill the boss and you'll get the weapon So yeah guys, that's how you can get this uh, blade, this awesome looking katana. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, hit me with that like, I would appreciate. If you're new, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.